right. Our next guy that we like is a mid to late round kind of value draft, you know, sleeper guy, steel, if you will. Sacco steel is Ronald Jones. Um, our consensus is 69th overall. I nice. have him. Well, I, I had him uh, lower. I, I believe I raised him. Um, but 69th overall, ESPN actually has him at 69. Uh, there's no way that this 69 for us is accurate anymore. I did raise him today. His also AD, nice. His ADP is currently 80th, which is the middle of the seventh round. Tell me why you like Ronald Jones. I feel like people think that he's bad at football and he's not bad at football. I don't, I don't get it. Um, honestly, I just, I think he's really good at football. Like when you watch him play, he's good. So I, it was him and Ronald Jones last year. It was Ronald and Jones and Peyton Barber. Oh, sorry. Peyton Barber. I saw Ronald Jones. I freaked out. Mental block. So it was, it was him and Peyton Barber. Peyton Barber sucked. He just, he yeah, was Peyton bad Barber was not at football. Good. So, ah, man, I, I can't even believe this, honestly, when I looked. So Peyton Barber had 18 less carries than Ronald Jones did last year, and he had 254 less yards. Like that. And... <laughs> Like that doesn't make any sense. They kept turning around the, and giving the ball to Peyton Barber and Ronald no, Jones. But I'm was worried about. Wouldn't you be worried about that? Them doing that with Keyshawn Vaughn though, too. No, I'm I'm fine if they do the same thing. That that if he got the exact same split, I think that he will prove to be better than Keyshawn Vaughn. So we're we're highlighting a running back here. Um, where the Tampa Bay was in the bottom third in the league in rushing percentage. Uh, they ran the ball just under 38% of their plays, which is 26th in football, which is is not not great. But I no. think that could change with Tom Brady because he's a little more fragile than, than Jameis was. So last year was the first year that Ronald Jones actually received any amount of playing time. It was his third year in the league, and he's going to be 23 this season. Yeah. So he came in really young. Yum. And he finally knows Bruce Ar Bruce Arians offense. So it took took a while. Yep. But he's finally third year in. He's finally going to know it. And that offense is notoriously difficult to learn. So he averaged four point two yards a carry last year. And they just wouldn't give him the damn ball. He had the same amount of touchdowns as Peyton Barber did. They both had six. Now, if you could, you know, take a couple more of those. Yeah. All of a sudden you're, you're getting a little getting a little taste. Right. When Ronald Jones had 10 or more carries last year, um, he averaged 12.1 points per week in a PPR league. Extrapolated over 16 games that would have put him at running back 16 last year. So. Give me some of that. And it should also be noted that he had 10 or more carries in 11 games. So it's it's not that much more of a leap to say that he's going to have more carries this year, especially because of, again, another rookie running back that's potentially competing against him. And I don't I don't trust a rookie running back to come in and know a, a somewhat complex pass scheme with the greatest of all time quarterback there where you can't miss a block. Yeah. So. So also keep in mind, Keyshawn Vaughn that they just drafted. He's older than Ronald Jones. Ronald Jones is three months younger than Keyshawn Vaughn. And he's huh. been in the and this will be his third year in the league. Again, that's crazy. Uh, of something, a couple other things to note. He was only on the field for 37% of snaps last year. He was on the field for 47% of design running plays. I would expect both of those numbers to increase somewhat substantially this year, actually. Uh, Ronald Jones was the 26th ranked running back last year. He had 31 catches for 300 yards, so he's going to be used as a receiver. It's not like Keyshawn Vaughn's going to come in and just totally replace him because Ronald Jones still has hands. He's proven that he can catch the ball. I kind of look at him more as like a more talented Sony Michelle who can like, you know, the Patriots always when Sony Michelle was in the game, they were going to run the ball. 
but they were never able to run like screen passes or really anything like that. But with Ronald Jones, he should be able to. Also, think about how many catches James White has had uh, the last five years since he. Oh, here so we we're, go. So we're we're gonna leave out uh, his rookie year where he didn't really play. But after that, his catches were 40, 60, 56, 87, and 72. So Brady's going to check the ball down a lot. He always has. And so that's going to be to either Ronald Jones or Keyshawn Vaughn. Last point. He was benched last year after after missing a block. And um, Arian said, and this is a direct quote, he works his ass off and he's going to get better at it, but we need him running the ball. But you can't run the ball if you can't protect the quarterback. I'm fairly confident that this offseason that Ronald Jones uh, figured out how to pass block and understand pass protections. Yeah, I, think I mean, that should have been his I, goal anyway. Uh, yeah, I, well, I, I think he has RB1 upside, honestly. Um, wow. And I, uh, yeah, I'm that high. I, I really like Ronald Jones. I, I have him rated as a back end RB2 currently, um, but I, I, I think he can explode in that offense, honestly. Um, play, playoff schedule, um, home against the Vikings, at Atlanta, at Detroit. Um, there's really nothing that really scares me there. Um, so, yeah, I, I think I think Ronald Jones can win people leagues this year. Wow. Well, I, I'm excited for our draft and to take him right in front of you then. Asshole. <laughs> <laughs> He's a great zero RB target. Like if you go zero RB and you go wide receiver, wide receiver and like throw in that tight end or Lamar or Mahomes or somebody at the beginning. If you go zero wide or zero RB, I think you got to be looking for Ronald Jones in the mid rounds. Um, and he gets no credit for the fact that he went over a thousand total yards from scrimmage last year. Like yeah. he gets, n he gets no credit for that at all. Like nobody, nobody's up here talking about how good Ronald Jones was. Um, he had 40 targets and 31 catches while splitting time with Peyton Barber. Like I just, come on, man. He's, I don't think he's going to be splitting time this season, especially not to, to start. Is there a world this is this is I mean, this is all things, right? We're talking about like percentage outcomes. Like there is a world where Ronald Jones comes out completely flat on his face and Keyshawn Vaughn assumes the starting role. There is also a world where you have a two game preseason, but you have the NFL PA saying they want a zero game preseason, which means no time for Keyshawn Vaughn to learn the offense. Well, I mean, potentially learn it, but certainly not practice it, especially not at game speed. So you figure Ronald Jones is probably starting out with a heavier workload. Like he could come out hot and assume that role and not let it go. Like people are propping up Keyshawn Vaughn because last season was like that split back, you know, kind of thing that everybody wanted to stay away from. Like his, his rushing attempts in order, like down the line were so frustrating for Ronald Jones owners, 13 attempts. The first game turns around, runs the ball four times in the second game. Then it you're was like, ridiculous. Oh. And then it's like, Oh crap. Now I got to stay away from Ronald Jones. So you don't start him in the third game. The third game, he had 14 attempts again. And then the, the, the fourth game, he is 19. And then he goes from 19 in the fourth game. So you're thinking, all right, back to back games, increase usage. Maybe that week two is a blip and then turn around week five, nine rushing attempts week six, four rushing attempts, then 11, 18, 11 again. You're like, Oh my God, Ronnie Jones is back. And then back down four, 12, six, 11, 11, 14, 11, like this. It was just, it was all of this. It was the Ronald Jones roller coaster last year. Now he was targeted though. I mean, in one game he had 18, he had eight targets in a single game. Like, Oh man, if, if he could just be on the field more and hopefully he learns those freaking pass protections. Um, they did have a suspect offensive line, um, but the Bucks drafted Tristan Wirfs. Go Hawks, go Hawks out of the University of Iowa. Uh, Big 10 offensive lineman of the year, I will say. Uh, lineman slash tight end university. 
Um, and Hope, hopefully signed, he's better than Gabe, than Gabe Creamy was for the Bears out of Wisconsin. Man, that guy sucked. God, that was the worst letdown. Oh, my God. Ever. Sucked. <laughs> that was so bad. Nobody's even going to remember that name other than Bears fans. We just lost, like, <laughs> you know, like more than half of our listeners are like, who? Um yeah, first round bust. Uh, and then they also signed offensive tackle Joe Haig from the Colts, which is just kind of like a more of a depth pick. Um, but still, you know, anything anything helps. Um, as long as they, they go away from this split, and I really think Ronald Jones is going to have every opportunity to sort of seize that role, especially early. There's There is no way they're putting in a rookie in Keyshawn Vaughn on third down at the beginning of the season when he has not practiced anything live, let alone the pass protections when you have what 43 year old Tom Brady surviving off of like kale and like water chips. Like they're not going to let that guy protect Tom Brady. No. So um, over the last four games, he averaged almost 12 attempts a game, six, more than 60 yards, uh, three and a half targets, two and a half catches for almost 23 receiving yards, which if you extrapolate it out over a 16 game season comes to just shy of a hundred, uh, 200 attempts, just shy of a thousand rushing yards, uh, four touchdowns, and then another 40 40 catches for 364 yards. And you know, that was with him sort of running more or taking over a little bit more of the split over the last four games. Granted, it's a smaller sample size. Again, I think he can really command more of a share of that offense. Um, but that would total out to 177 total fantasy points in half PPR scoring, which would have been running back 20 on the season. Like, He's shown that he can produce at at least RB2 values. And assuming that, you know, we obviously are going to have this shortened opening to the season. Um, his usage, I mean, Keyshawn Vaughn, I think, will be involved as the season progresses. But I think it's more of like a week eight on. Maybe he's given you some headaches here and there. But if Ronald Jones comes out hot, he's not letting go. Um, that then 177 total points running back 20 is three more points than Marlon Mack had last year and only four points less than Josh Jacobs put up. Like he could he could be so good. Could he be could so be. good. Yep. I, honestly, I, I would not be surprised if he ends up in RB one. If if he if he gets all of the offensive share of, of from the running back position, or if he's on the field for like, let's say like sixty sixty five percent of snaps, yeah, I I I think he's deadly in that offense. Yeah, and and we've we, like we both watched the one clip of just him. Yeah, like of of some some rushing plays that's been circulating on on Twitter. The dude's just a beast, man. He can make anybody miss. He's quick. He's big. I, I have high hopes for Ronald Jones. And then, so that's our uh, Ronald Jones draft seal. To quickly update the consensus, I did check. We actually have him at consensus 53 overall. Uh, I have him at 60th. You all have him all the way up at 51. So I have him going at the end of the fifth. You have him going at the beginning of the fifth. So either way, solid fifth, what we think would be a great fifth round pick. Uh, ESPN has a 69 overall. His current ADP is 80th and he's currently going in the middle of the seventh, like tremendous value for what could be a great year for Ronald Jones.